I hear the screams. I have lived through the massacre every day. <laughs> the night of the massacre, I was awakened by my family. My parents and five siblings were there. I was told we had to leave, and that was it. I will never forget the violence of the white mob when we left our home. I still see black men seeing being shot, black bodies lying in the street. I still smell smoke and see fire. I still see black businesses being burned. I still hear airplanes flying overhead. I hear the screams. I have lived through the massacre every day. Our country may forget this history, but I cannot. I will not. And other survivors do not. And our descendants do not. Our community was beautiful and was filled with happy and successful black people. Can everything change? I would, it was like a war. White men with guns came and destroyed my community. We couldn't understand why. What did we do to them? We didn't understand. We were just living. But they came and they destroyed everything. They burned houses and businesses. They just took what they wanted and out of the building. Then they burned the building, burned them. They murdered people. We were told they just dumped the, the dead bodies into the river. Uh, I, under, I, I remember running outside of our house. I just passed dead bodies. It wasn't a pretty sight. I still see it today in my mind, a hundred years later. Because of the massacre, my family was driven out of our home. We were left with nothing. We were made refugees in our own country, county. You may have been taught that when something is stolen from you, you can go to the courts to be made whole. You can, you can go to the courts to get just, justice. This wasn't the case for us. The courts in Oklahoma wouldn't hear us. The federal courts said we were too late. We were made to feel that our struggle were unworthy of justice, that we were less valued than whites, that we weren't fully Americans. By the grace of God, I am still here. I have survived. I have survived to tell this story. I believe that I am still here to share it with you. Hopefully, now you, you all will listen to us while we are still here. I'm here seeking justice, and I'm asking my country to acknowledge what happened in Tulsa in 1921. We in our history have been forgotten, washed away. This Congress must recognize us and our history. There are always so many examples, excuses, for, for why just, justice is so slow or never happened at all. I am here today, 106 years old, looking at, at, at you all in the eye, 
we've uh, waited a hundred years. Uh, no, we have waited too long, and I am tired. We are tired. <laughs>